Hey, hello there, guys. Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Blaze Black Charizard solo run. So, in the previous episode, we had quite some difficulty with the gym leader. I'm, I'm gonna put that out there. We, we really didn't have fun with that. So, what we're gonna do now, before we go and take on the gym leader again, is we're gonna train up our Pokemon a tiny little bit here, you know? I just want to get Charizard up to, like, a better level, so we're better set for taking on the gym leader, you know? Hopefully. So, here we go. I'm going to use all my air slashes on however many Pokemon it goes through. Then I'll use all my other moves until we have to go back and heal up. And then, after we heal up that time, I guess we'll, like, take on the gym leader. So, basically, I'm going to exhaust my entire move set. And then we're going to take on the gym. So hopefully we're at a better level by the time we exhaust our entire moveset here. Oh, look, it's a Mareep. If only this was a normal playthrough. If only this was a normal playthrough, then I would so get that Mareep. Gosh, that would be an amazing addition to the team. That would be an amazing addition to the team. Dang, an Ampharos? That'd be great. That'd really help out with the boof the Boofalot. I think that's how you say it. I'm pretty sure I said it right. Sorry if I didn't, but yeah. The Buffalot would be really easy to defeat with a nice Ampharos. Nice level, nice stats and all that. So, let's see here. Let's see here. Air Slash. You know, again, Air Slash really is our best move. It really is our best move. You know what You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to really quickly enable Speed Up for like a tiny little moment here until we like exhaust all of our Air Slashes. So, here we go. Just, just for this little bit of time here. I'm gonna use speed up. I'm never gonna use it again. Just gonna mention that I don't like using speed up anymore. There was a time where I really, really enjoyed using speed up. You know, just speeding up the game, going through it faster. But now, now I really don't. You know, I've just gotten used to not being able to use it in like the race cross Sinnoh. So, you know, it just just made me not want to use speed up anymore. Okay, so let's see here. Let's see here. I'm just trying to use all my air slashes. Hopefully we can get up to level 29 by the time we use all our air slashes. If we can't, that would, that would actually kind of suck. That's, that's a lot of air slashes. That is a lot of air slashes. So, here we go, here we go. Yeah, I, I don't think we're going to get up to level 29. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I have my hopes, like, up for no reason. Yep. Sounds about right. Ah, oh, man. Ah, oh, man, okay. You know, I really did expect us to get a lot more levels from using Air Slash on, like, 20 different Pokemon, but we really only got, like, half a level. <laughs> it's pretty bad. It is pretty bad, so let's use uh, Fire Fang now. That's 15 more Pokemon, you know? Well, unless, of course, we encounter a Pokemon that's just like, Haha, I'm not gonna let you use Fire Fang on me and take me down to zero health. I'm gonna hold on with, like, two health. Ha! Huh. So far we haven't had, like, we haven't had that happen, but... There's always a chance! There's always a chance that it'll happen. We just won't expect it. Anyways, let's use Fire Fang again here. Keep using Fire Fang, you know? Ah, man. I, I wish I still had Air Slash. I could just easily go back to the Pokemon Center and heal up my Pokemon, but nah. I'm gonna use Fire Fang until Fire Fang's exhausted. Then I'll use Shadow Claw until Shadow Claw's exhausted. Okay, we have met our match, Shellos. Okay. I, I didn't really expect Shellos to be, like, the one that wouldn't go down to zero health. But then again, isn't it water ground type? So, if it is water ground, then it makes sense. If it's not, then I really don't know what typing it is. I'm going to be fairly honest with you. I am not sure. I'm pretty sure it's water ground. I'm just not sure. Uh, let me actually check here. Shellos is just water type. Okay, then. Isn't its evolution, uh, doesn't its evolution get ground? I am not sure. I'm not even sure the, uh, name of its evolution. Isn't it, like, Gastrodon or something like that? I think. I'm pretty sure that it gets ground type. I am, like, 100% positive it gets ground type. And if I'm mistaken, then I really, really don't know my Pokemon. I, I, I probably am, like, so far off. Probably gets, like, Rock-type or something, but... I'm gonna stick... I'm gonna stick with saying that it gets Ground-type. I'm actually gonna check this. <laughs> I'm actually gonna check. Okay. Uh, Gastrodon. 
So first off, it is the evolution, and it does get ground type. Okay. I know some things about Pokemon. <laughs> I've played it for so long, I mean, I think I know a good bit of stuff. Oh, man. Okay, so, Shadow Claw. Just gotta continue using Shadow Claw. Oh, wait. Wait. I forgot. Talo is normal type. <laughs> Whoops. Whoops, okay. Oh, look, it's Sh it's Shellos, the Pokemon that I couldn't figure out its evolutionary typing for. Okay, so Dragon Rage and... Oh, my gosh, another Shellos. Great. Okay, so... So low Tad, Dragon Rage, there we go. So now we're down to... Oh, gosh darn it. Why, why does that happen? Why, do, why does that have to happen, you know? We just get a Pokemon that, you know, can't get affected by the one move we have. Oh, man. Okay, let's see here. Let's see here. Another Pokemon. Hello, Tad. Great. We've got seven more Shadow Claws. And then we've got to go and heal up. How close are we to getting level 30? Not close enough, in all honesty. Not close enough. If only there was a way to, like, increase the XP you gain. I know there's a way to, like, cheat that, but... I wish there was a way in the games, like an item, or... Well, obviously, there's the lucky egg. But, like, some sort of in-game mechanism where you can adjust the amount of XP you can gain. But, like, it increases the levels of the gym leaders or something like that. You know? That'd actually be really cool. Like, where you, you get more experience, but the gym leaders' levels are higher. That'd actually be pretty fun, not gonna lie. I wish there was a way to do that. Well, it's probably it's probably never going to happen, but, you know, it'd be pretty cool. There's probably some sort of fan-made game out there that has something like that. There's, there's like, so many fan-made Pokemon games and ROM hacks and all that. It's actually really cool. Speaking of which, Pokemon Uranium. That's, that's a fan-made game, and it's actually something I'm going to start up at some point. I don't know when. It's probably going to be after the end of this series. Not sure. If it's, if it's not after the end of this series, it's, if it's after the end of the series that comes next after this one. So, sometime in the future. Probably probably not near future. I'm probably going to do a Pokemon Uranium playthrough. Because it looks like a really fun game. And I really want to, like, play through it and see what it has to offer. Anyways, let, let's focus back on this game here. <laughs> let's focus back on the Charizard solo run, you know? Gotta, gotta win the game with the Charizard. Oh, man. Okay. Well, let's try defeating the gym leader for the third time, right? I think this is the third time we're taking it on. Okay, so my strategy here is to go for the Pokemon in a specific order. So what we've got to do is go for Stantler, go for Bufalant, go for uh, whatever that other Pokemon is. Furret? I think that was the next Pokemon it sent in. I think it was the next Pokemon it sent in. Anyways, here we go, here we go. Just use your Intimidates, please, please, just get them over with, just get them over with, so, uh, Stantler, and Stantler, there we go, so Stantler, Bufalot, Furret, Herdier, unless of course there's another Pokemon sent in that I kind of, kind of like assume, you know, that I can like, kind of assume, hey, that thing will probably have... Thunderbolt as well. Okay, why do you have to go for Panpour? You know, it'd be great if you just went for me. It really would be amazing. So, what I'm gonna do now, Air Slash on Bufalant. There we go. There we go. Okay, it has that item that heals it up, which I really, really don't like, and it also has a Rock Tomb. Gosh, that move sucks. That move is terrible. Okay, okay, how many of these super potions do we have? We have four left. Alright, here's what I'm going to do. Fight, air slash, bufalant. There we go. Fight, air slash, furret. There we go. Now, turning off speed. I just needed to go through that with speed, so. Oh, man, why does it have to be Bibberil? I really don't like Bibberil. Just because of the fact that it can learn some really powerful water-type moves, so we've got to go for it. 
Gosh, I hope the next Pokemon isn't some like level 24 super powerful Watch Hog. Well, it's level 20. I'm, I'm, I'm like, oh man, I'm really, really, really frustrated about this battle. Cause if that Watch Hog is faster than us, then it can easily take us down. Like, I'm pretty sure Watchog can learn some powerful, like, electric-type moves. I feel like Watchog has used electric-type moves. Like, I'm pretty sure you can teach Watchog, like, Thunder and Thunderbolt and all that, so... If it has those moves, then we're done for. If it doesn't, then we're good. Like, especially Thunder. If it's got Thunder, then we're so done for. Okay, you're using Helping Hand. Please don't be faster. Yes! No! No 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 Okay, even though it didn't do that much to us, I need to use this super potion here. Okay, there we go, there we go. There we go. Okay, you're gonna use crunch again. Then I'm gonna use air slash again. Hopefully it doesn't miss this time. I'm really, really hoping it doesn't miss this time. Okay, what's gonna happen? What's gonna happen? Can you take it down? Yes, it took it down, so all we have to do now is take down Herdier, and we are good in this. Oh my gosh. That that did a sizable amount of damage, not gonna lie. So what I'm gonna use is a super potion real quick. There we go. You're gonna use Retaliate again. Gosh, that move is really, really powerful. Oh, please take it down, please take it down. Yes. Yes, we did it. We did it. We did it. We won. We won the fight with the second gym leader. Oh man, that took that took way too long. Not gonna lie. That took way too long. Your fighting style is so enchanting. It is charming. Uh, you are a Pokemon trainer worthy of receiving this basic badge. Okay, thank you. Oh man, again, that like amount of gym battling, like so many times we had to do it. It took way too long. I'm glad it's finally over. <laughs> okay, if you have two badges, a uh, traded Pokemon up to level 30 will obey you. Here, I also want you to have this HM. Sorry, TM, not HM. Why would a gym leader give us an HM? Okay, Retaliate does a lot more damage. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm going to be perfectly honest here. Retaliate is a very annoying move, especially in this gym battle. Okay, uh, Haas says, Deer, come quickly. Team Plasma is threatening to steal some bones. What? What? Wh why? Unless, of course, it's Dragonite, then it really makes sense. It's, you know, Dragonite's rare and stuff. So, I guess let's go help out. I mean, we really don't have that much, like, HP after that battle, but, you know, let's try and help out. <laughs> okay, let's see here. Uh, now you wait enough fooling around. What's going on? Why are there so many of them? I mean, then again, it's a lot of bones to carry. Okay, so you've come, Gym Leader. Uh, we, Team Plasma, uh, claim this museum's Dragon Skull in name of Pokemon Liberation. Uh, to show us... Wait, sorry. To show you where Sirius will steal it right before your eyes. Oh gosh, they're gonna topple all the bones, won't they? Well then, here's our smoke screen. Uh, Plasma, Plasma, okay. Oh, okay. So they didn't topple the rest of the thing, which is good and bad at the same time. They still stole the skull. So, okay, what's going on? Oh, oh, we have to go after them. Okay. Okay. I mean, probably won't be able to win the battle, but okay. We'll try our best. Where are they? Oh, man, they left, didn't they? Hey, look, it's, it's the next gym leader. I remember that. It's the next gym leader. Okay, good day, Lenora. Find any good fossils lately? Uh, this is a surprise visit. Are you suffering from artist block again? Alex, this is Berg. He might, uh, he may not look like it, but he's Castilia City's gym leader. He's gonna be really easy to defeat. Not gonna lie. Bug types, easy peasy. Easy peasy to win in a battle. So, eh? Eh, just looking for a change of pace. Seems hectic or something around here. What's up? What's up? Someone just walked away with an exhibit. That's what's up. Hey, look, it's Bianca. Hi. Oh, hi, Alex. What's everybody doing here? 
and it's Sharon. Uh, Alex, is there some kind of problem? And these two are your friends. Okay, so I guess everybody's introducing themselves. Cool. Uh, alright, so we have to go and search for them. Uh, are you raring to random uh, robbers? Yeah, I'm gonna go and heal up my Pokemon before we do any of that. Oh, Alex, take this with you. Uh, Fennel gave me this dowsing machine to give you. Okay, thanks. Probably never gonna use that, like... just I'm just gonna tell you this story here. Back when I ever got, like, items like that, I I never used them. The only, like, key items I've ever used in Pokemon games, like, often at least. Like, there have been rare times where I've just decided, hey, I'm gonna try this item out. What could it do? But... Oftentimes, I've only used like fishing rods and bikes, and that's it. And also the berry case thing. That's another thing I've used. Okay, if you find places where items are hidden, uh, all right, all right. Thanks, thanks. So we have to go through the forest and try to find Team Plasma because they decided, hey, we're just gonna steal this skull here for no reason. It's obviously, it's a bad. Thing for having a Pokemon skull. Okay, so anyways, for now, I think I'm gonna end off this episode here, so thank you all so much for watching. I really, really do hope you enjoyed. Of course, if you did, don't forget to leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And well, if you all did enjoy, then I guess I'll see you next time. I, I, I just like, you know, messed up the outro there, but oh man, well, thank you all so much for watching. Bye, everybody.